It is a very familiar sight for commuters here on Lake Champlain. The breakwater near the ferry docks in Grand Isle, Vermont, that for more than a century has helped guide and protect boats crossing the lake. It is now in need of repairs and may soon be getting a multi-million dollar facelift. The Cumberland Head Grand Isle Ferry is a critical link for travelers crossing Lake Champlain with the route between Plattsburgh and Vermont seeing about one million cars a year. If this breakwater wasn't there, then the actual navigation in the movement of vehicular traffic back and forth on the ferry system would not be possible. As the ferry boat captains navigate the lake 24-7, 365 days a year, the breakwater is there to help them. Really blocks the wave action that is uh, created by wind currents and water currents um, under the surface and, and that are pressing on the water. The breakwater has seen a lot in the century since it was built, and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says it's time for some updates. The improvements need to come when the vessel class changes, and it has since 1890. Matthew Cosby, who is the project manager, says the breakwater has started to dip. It's not a safety issue just yet, but could become one. The project calls for lifting the breakwater and extending it by 50 to 75 feet in order to put less stress on the docks. So if we do any type of uh, renovation or any type of work, we've got to do it in a responsible manner. So we're just really trying to understand, you know, how, how can we work together with nature? One, you know, increase the safety to navigation, um, but also, you, you know, do it in a way that um, is responsible in terms of the environment. The Army Corps is working with Vermont Fish and Wildlife and biologists from the University of Vermont to protect lake trout that spawn near the breakwater. The project is expected to cost at least a couple of million dollars. It all depends on whether they repair or rebuild the breakwater. A number of studies will be done to look at wind and wave data and then determine what needs to be done and how much it will cost.